Hello guys, I'm your host William and today we're going to talk about the 2017 movie Dave Made a Maze. A man named Dave is asked by a voice why he built a maze. Dave gets mad at the interviewer, but he says that he wanted to do something great and if he was allowed to finish it, he would take responsibility for everyone who died because of the labyrinth. The story is set a few days ago, when Annie Dave's girl was a young girl. After a business trip, he or she goes home. To her surprise, there was a structure made of boxes in the middle of their apartment where she could hear her boyfriend talking. Dave tells Annie that he built a maze and wants to keep it in the house for a while. She thinks the cardboard structure is just another strange thing that happened that day, so she doesn't do anything and just goes to the shower. Annie comes back to the living room after a while and asks Dave how long he has been working on it. He says that he has been inside for three days and can't get out because he got lost. He offers to just break down the structure, but he doesn't want to destroy what he worked so hard on. He is excited and wants to enter the labyrinth, but Dave tells us not to do that because the building isn't finished yet and it could be dangerous. He calls him a jerk and starts shaking the maze. Dave gets scared when he hears noises coming from under the boxes that sound like an earthquake happened inside. He tells her not to do that again. Annie is angry and wants to break out of the maze. But he told her to find another way out and to call his friend Gordon. When Gordon gets there, Dave tells him excitedly about the labyrinth and how he started building it from the middle but got lost. Gordon doesn't believe what he says, but he's told that the labyrinth is bigger on the inside than it looks from the outside. Annie thanks Gordon for coming to see his friend, and they start talking about how Dave is peeing in the maze, which is kind of funny. He says that it has been a long time since he last ate. She is very upset by these words, so she asks Dave if he is sure he is okay. He says that he hurt his hand and is sorry. Gordon tries to lift the boxes so Dave can get out from under them, but he says he nailed them to the floor very well. Then Gordon starts knocking on the boxes, and Dave uses the sounds of the knocking to try to find his way out of the maze. But his plan to get out of the maze fails because he gets lost again. He says that the structure he built is too complicated and hard to get out of. Even though Dave only told Leonard about the maze, Gordon decides to call Leonard, who is also one of their friends. People keep coming to the house. Gordon tells him that more people have come to hang out with them. Harry called some tourists and a homeless person from the street. He was with a film crew that was going to make a documentary about Dave's maze. Everyone wants to look at the amazing building and figure out how and why someone could get lost in it. Dave asks Leonard to help him get out, but Leonard tells him again that it's dangerous and that there are many traps inside, so they wouldn't be able to stay there for even a minute. Leonard thinks that everything is a joke and is leaving. Dave tells Annie he's sorry he can't get out of the maze. He tells her that he misses her, and she tells him that she misses him as well. These words reverberate through the maze and reach Dave, who is tired and lost, somewhere in the middle of the boxes. He decides to follow Dave into them. Everyone in the room thinks this is a green light, so they all go first into the maze, leaving only the bum outside. When they get inside, they are surprised to find that the maze is much bigger than it looked from the outside. As Dave's friends move through the cardboard hallways, they are amazed by what he has been able to build all this time. In the labyrinth, each room is decorated in a different way. In a quarter with walls that look like piano keys, there is a room with playing cards on the walls. <laughs> they end up in a room with a lot of paper. At the end of the room, there is a cardboard head that makes origami paper come out of its mouth. Then, all of a sudden, a big red origami bird attacks them. To keep from being attacked or even getting buried by the paper, they all get out of one room by climbing into the head of a cardboard statue. While that was going on, Leonard went back to Dave's apartment and went into the maze with him. Everyone is shocked by the killer origami room. Harry takes advantage of the situation and tries to record a conversation with Annie in which he asks her. When Dave figured out how to make an inanimate object move, he asked if her boyfriend was important to her. Jane burst into the room and stopped the questioning. She steps on a trap by accident, which sets off a card-based mechanism, which takes her head off. She was shocked to see thread come out of her neck like a fountain instead of blood. The group keeps running through the maze while everyone tries to figure out why they made the deadly obstacles. Greg and Bryn hide and look for each other in another part of the maze. Greg doesn't see another trap and ends up dying because of it. <laughs> Bryn finds the other people in the group and tells them what happened to Greg. They decide to find out what's going on by going to where he died, but when they get there, they find that his body is gone. They see hoof prints somewhere on the cardboard floor. Gordon thinks that Dave has made a ur that watches over the maze and eats the dead SL. Annie uses a paper cutter to cut a hole in the wall. With each cut, the wind in the room gets stronger. Everyone got out of the room, except Bry, who was killed by the Ur. The monster then starts going after everyone else. Dave walks in and leads them to a different room, which is made up of tricks the eye sees. He tells his friends they shouldn't have gone into the maze and that he didn't think it would get so bad that people would die because of it. After he tells everyone to get inside a gift box, which turns out to be a tube to another room, they fly out and turn into cardboard. The miner that was following them walks into the room and starts to chase after them. After getting past the traps, 
They fall down another pipe and end up in a different room in human. Dave hangs a towel across the aisle to protect his friends from the miniature. He says that this is the only way to temporarily stop the miner. Dave doesn't want to destroy the maze, even though everything is going wrong, so he invites his friends to help him finish it. He thinks that the maze has become dangerous because it wasn't finished yet. Annie doesn't like this idea, so she tells him they need to leave. Dave tells her that she can't cut her own passage because that would get the Ur's attention right away. He takes his friends to the next room, where there is music, a spotlight, and multicolored light bulbs. A documentary that the friends made together in the past is being shown on the screen. They talk about old times and act out funny scenes from movies. They find a quarter that looks like female Jen in one of the rooms. At the end of the quarter, there is a bright light that everyone wants to get closer to. Dave tells his friends to stop, and then he takes the glove off his hurt hand. He also wanted to touch the light, and because of this, his hand turned into paper mash. As they keep going, they finally find the way out of the maze. They go toward it happily, but they end up in a different room. Since they've been there, the maze has grown even bigger, making it almost impossible to find a way out. Dave suggests mixing the ur with the general room for women and making it out of cardboard. He promised that he would be able to turn off the traps and that they could finish the maze together. His friends aren't as excited about it. We saw at the beginning that Harry decides to talk to Dave. In it, he talks about why he actually made the maze. Dave is having a hard time and was trying to do something good to help himself. He was sick of being broke, looking for work all the time, and still getting money from his parents when he was 30. He doesn't want his friends and family to think he's weak, and he doesn't want to show how angry he is. The maze became a personification of all the things he feels inside every day, and he finally decides to help him find a way out of the maze. The miner tries to get into their room and breaks up their conversation. Gordon and the person who controls the boom use their weight to block the doorway. They run into another room with the others, and he offers to help them find the heart of the labyrinth. Gordon remembers that Dave said he built the maze from the middle outward, so that may be where the structure is weakest. Dave tells his friends, though, that he didn't build such a place because he didn't want it to be destroyed. And he tells Dave that people go through what he is feeling right now every day, and he has to deal with it in order to do something worthwhile, like save the lives of your friends. Dave says that the maze is the only thing he's ever started that was worth finishing. He suggests to Dave that they finish building the maze and make a weak spot in it so that they can. Dave leads his friends to the middle of the maze by telling them what his love told him. In one of the rooms, they find a paper version of Bryn. She tries to get her friends to come to high fiber with her. Dave says they can't wait and need to move on because the maze will only get bigger if they stay there. He tells his friends to watch out for Bryn and make sure he doesn't leave the room. High five! Harry decides it's Bryn's turn to be interviewed while he and Annie go on. Gordon asks her why they are here. And she says that life is full of things that can't be finished and can't be left behind. Dave and Annie sit down at a table at the same time. The way the couple talks to each other over and over again shows that their relationship is in trouble. Dave thought that Annie was sad and that he was always looking for himself. They fought, and neither of them could understand the other. Dave says that he worries that he and Annie don't have anything else. Annie tells him that everything will be fine and looks at him with loving eyes. Dave blows out the candle and says he is looking for a way out. The couple ends up back in the maze where anyone can light a lantern to make the room brighter. The group kept getting in Bryn's way. She tells them about the Ur and says that all he wants is more free human blood. Annie and Dave work together to make a cocoon in the middle of the maze, which should be a weak spot. He pulls out a samurai sword and tells Annie that the miner will come after them as soon as she pierces the wall with her sword. She kisses Dave and tells him she loves him. Then, taking advantage of the moment, she thrusts a sword into the wall. The group throws a rope around Bryn. She turns into a giant hand and tries to get away dragging the boom operator underground with her. When he hits again, something that looks like blood starts to come out of him. Annie and Dave find themselves in a new room, and Dave tells them that they need to spin the cocoon to get out of the maze. Annie finds a player for music and puts something on it. During all of this, the miniature is chasing after the remaining friends, but they are able to get away by unwinding. The cocoon starts to glow and open up. Leonard, who had been following them the whole time, dies when the maze fights back and sets off new traps. Dave uses his sword to cut out the center of the cocoon, which destroys the labyrinth for good. The friends who were still alive. They start picking up the pieces and cleaning up the apartment while Harry keeps taking pictures with his phone camera. He asked Dave to name the movie before he left, and he suggests that Dave make a maze. At the end of the story, he throws away what's left of the maze, and the miner pops up from under them. And the story end here. What do you think about this story? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video, subscribe and activating bell for notification until the next video. Thank you so much for watching.